Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas here and today I'm going to go through headers and volleys with you. Okay, so a lot of people were complaining about the uh, the sort of when to time headers and this is how not to do it. Okay, so it does depend on the distance you are between the, well, the distance between the ball and the player heading the ball or volleying the ball. So it's all about timing. Okay, so right here. See bail? I've pressed the shoot button too late there. Should have pressed it sooner to get him up and jumping. So when you press the shoot button, that forms when you're going to actually leap, jump, or head the ball. So in this instance, the ball flight is quite low, so it's quite a late button press. You know, I'm pressing the shoot button quite late. In this example, I'm pressing it a bit sooner because I'm I've got to make that leap. See? got to make that leap there. So it's all about timing. And notice the power as well. It's all, all, all of these shots are, you know, you're pretty much aiming for 50%. That gives you the best accuracy and decent power to get the ball on target and score. In previous versions of PES, you used to be able to press the triangle or the, or the Y on the Xbox controller to head the ball down after pressing the shoot button. But that's that's no longer here. So these downward headers are just determined by the flight of the ball, um, the, how early you jump. So it's all about the timing. That's a great header. Very difficult moving away from goal. This is a powerful header. Watch the watch me use the right bumper here. There you go. That's my finesse shot, on. and I've got ahead of the defender. Another one, another finesse header. So cross the ball in, watch the finesse button, and the shoot. There you go, bang. Back across the goalie, no chance. In this instance, it's coming from a corner. So you can see I'm all over the back of PK. You can see there's a little bit more power of this in this effort. You can see it touching to the yellow. So that's that's important to know when you're you're further away. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it. See, there's no, no running and jumping needed, so it's quite a late button press. It's almost, the ball's almost on top of his head before, he's, before I'm pressing the shoot button. It's because it's a very late press. This is a great header. And these, these diagonal balls into the box in Data Pack 3 are very, very powerful now. I've certainly noticed that. See, there's quite a bit of distance before I press the shoot button. It just guides it into the top corner. Lovely. Okay, now we're going to cover off the volleying. So, what, notice the super council here. That I'm moving away from the ball. And then going towards it. So, it's all about timing the bounce. Or if you want to get under the ball. So, it's all about timing. So, here, it's a low flight across. Decent away from the goalie. Decent distance away from the goalie. This is a great volley. Not a half volley. This is a full-on volley. Doesn't touch the ground. Keeper's sort of unsighted by PK standing in the way of him. Didn't help. And this is a volley from far out. But notice the power again. It's not into the yellow. It's not into the red. It's into the green. You don't have to, on basic shooting, you don't have to hit the red or the green, uh, red or yellow to, to put a lot of power on these shots. So once again, half power. Bang! Once again, PK getting in the way of the keeper. The keeper can't really see it. He tries to guess, but guess is wrong. Sometimes you've got to improvise. So when you're through on goal, I can see here that if I volley it, he's going to probably take it with his left foot. Um, so I did a like a looping volley, so a lob volley, to try and improvise and get over the top of it, but unfortunately you saved it. And then if you're not facing goal, so here Ronaldo is actually ahead of the ball. I press the shoot button and they will, depending on their player ID, deal with that in their own way. With Ronaldo, he's obviously a bit cheeky with his skills, so therefore he tried the back heel. Once again, super cancel, moving away, press the shoot button. This time I'm under it this time. So that's why it's doing that sort of 
that dipping motion when I'm striking the ball. So it does depend on where the ball is and where the player is and the height. There's so many factors. That's why I've recorded so many so many headers and free kicks. Once again, this diagonal ball. It's very hard to deal with. The defenders really struggle with it. You see there? And TT is really struggling to deal with that. And that is really, really noticeable in Data Pack 3. This is a half volley. Beautiful power. The way he just backs up and then strikes it. Bosh. Keeper, no chance. Flailing at the ball. And this is a manual volley because I, had, I knew if I shot with my basic shooting, he's not going to score from here. No way. But with manual, you've got a chance. And I, you can see me super cancelling to move away from the ball to make sure the player doesn't get attracted. And then all of a sudden watch my left arrow stick, pushing towards the ball now. Get my aim on target, using the target tool. And then, oh, just, just over. So there we go, guys. Hope that helps. Um, hope you're, if you're coming from FIFA, you sort of get an understanding of the timing. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you dislike this video. And if you got if you want to see more videos, then please subscribe. Cheers. This is Swinny Pizzas. Bye bye.